Welcome to Small Biz Life, episode 104, How to Get It All Done. Does this sound familiar? Oh my God, I have so much to do today. Don't forget to breathe. But I have almost 400 emails in my inbox and 30 phone calls to make. Have you looked into getting a virtual assistant yet? Oh, and I need to schedule all my social media posts. Did you drink anything today? I had coffee. Did you eat today? Did I mention coffee's a bean? This is Small Biz Life. Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode of Small Biz Life. Hopefully you're still awake after last week's episode. (laughs) We know that that was super technical, but hopefully it was helpful for you. Because really, this question is asked of Kristen so many times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is probably the majority of the consulting calls I Mm -hmm. do. Um, So if you haven't listened to episode 103 on LLCs and S-Corps, make sure you go back and check that one out. Just make sure you've got some coffee with you when you do. Um, (laughs) It's, it's, it's a shorter episode too, so yeah. it's not too bad. Um, but so we wanted to go a little bit lighter this week mm-hmm. and, uh, talk about something that is near and dear to all of our hearts, yes. how to get it all done. I know. Cause there's, there is not enough hours in the day, Mm-mm. you know, to get everything done that we want to for our life, for our businesses. Sometimes we have to make choices. We have to prioritize. But on top of that though, it's like, maybe if we can get a little bit more done, mm-hmm. you know, or we can kind of come at things from different ways than we have before. Maybe we get to the point where we can get more done in less time. And even though we're still not getting it all done, because we still there's always the next thing to do. Mm-hmm. You know, but you it's easier to let go when right. you've achieved more. So who are you? I'm Jeffrey W. Ingram. <laughs> and I'm Kristen Ingram. And uh, yeah, we wanted to tell you who we were if you've never been with us before. And uh, if you're a new listener, thank you so much for joining us this week. Um, and if you're a turning listener, thanks so much for sticking mm-hmm. with us. I know a ton of you have been with us since like the first Episode 10 episodes. Will, yeah. And um, you guys just, you rock. Mm-hmm. You're awesome. And a special shout out to the HQ Woo-hoo. crew. HQ crew. Um, That's much better than HQ. Yeah. That'd be a cool t-shirt. HQ crew. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Um, so, you know, we thought, especially because right now in our lives, a lot of things are changing. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think if you've listened to the show before, you know that um, in addition to being a CPA and being CEO of Ingram Digital Media, I'm also a full-time college professor and I run a master's program. Plus I am... I'm tired just hearing that. You know, plus I am in week 20 of my first pregnancy I'm exhausted. I'm really <laughs> tired. Um, and I know a lot of you from, you know, from interacting with you guys in the group, mm-hmm. you know, or, you know, interacting with the HQ members, everybody's really tired. Mm-hmm. And um, so we kind of talked, you know, we want to talk about kind of how we get things done throughout the day mm-hmm. and not just like business stuff, but life stuff as well. Yeah. You know, because I think what happens is we get, we get so focused on the business stuff that like, you know, we forget to clean the house or do any laundry or go grocery shopping, you know, and then we like freak out that we haven't done stuff around the house. And then we put our business away for like a couple days Mm -hmm. and get stuff done around the house. Mm -hmm. And then we go, wait, hold on. Holy crap. I haven't done anything in the business. And I definitely see this a lot more with uh, female business owners. Um, Men just can seem to let things go on one side or the other easier. However, you know, it, with guys, it still comes up. You you overfocus on something and and you burn out because what will happen is you, this other thing that you know you need to get done that you don't get done. You 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 start worrying about that and then you have trouble getting either done effectively and you get less done than you normally would and then you start feeling behind in the thing that you were focused on and it it just comes back to bite you. So you know we just need a way to to make sure that we're using our time effectively mm. um not trying to kill ourselves just trying to get the most done that we can and still have time because remember that downtime episode we did if you don't get some of that done you will burn out yeah and i think it's funny because there are two things that i typically see with guys one of them is they work so hard they don't take care of themselves physically 
And so they'll start to put on a little bit of weight Mm -hmm. and then they'll go, oh my God, I have to go to the gym for 14 hours a day Mm -hmm. and I have to eat better and I have to run. And, and then they go, wait a minute, I'm doing all that and I can't, I'm not focusing on my business. And they drop the health thing, Mm -hmm. you know, and then they go back to the business and, or the other one I see is I'm working so hard. I'm not spending any time with my family. So they'll take like a week off. And then by the end of the week, they resent their family because they're not working because they feel like that's the thing they need to focus on for the family. Right. And mm-hmm. that's the thing. It's like it. So it's different symptoms. It comes out in slightly different ways. But it's the same problem. But it's the same problem. It's it's lack of, you know, it's, and I hate using this word, but it's a lack of balance, mm-hmm. right? Where it's either all business or all personal, you know, it's all business or all wellness. And we need to, you know, we need to kind of fit all of this in in one day. I- I just want to point something out to, you know, the reason we've created civilizations and we've gone from living in caves to living in, 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 in McMansions and in, in the suburbs is, is because humans always have a drive to improve their lot, to get something else done, to improve the lot for them and their family. This is one of the amazing things which drives humanity sometimes to do bad things, but all of the good stuff we've achieved, the new medicines, uh, taking care of people better it all comes from this desire to get something else done. You have this biological component of you that will never be satisfied. And you need to understand that going into this. No matter how much you get done, no matter how much money you make, no matter how far you've come, you, there will always be something in your mind saying, I need to do this next thing. Mm-hmm. I need to do better. I need to do more. You know, and it comes out in the video game players a lot because it's like, I'll just do one more level before I quit this video game. Well, it's funny because like, okay, so we got Madden 2018, mm-hmm. I think last weekend mm-hmm. um, because it's the Tom Brady edition, you know, it's hello. The, the goat edition. It's the goat edition and Tom Brady's on the cover. And so... Um, Bodes poorly for his season. I know. Doom is coming. No, Doom is not coming. He's going to break the curse. Um... We're Boston. That's what we do. So we break curses. Um, so, you know, so Jeff was like, you know, try out this, you know, try it out. I've never really played Madden before. And there's this point where like you're doing the training before you play a game. Mm-hmm. And I would get like, you know, four out of five. And I'm like, that's not good enough. I'm going to do it again. Mm-hmm. And I would do it until I could get five out of five. Mm-hmm. And then I'd move on. Um, because I can always do better, mm-hmm. you know. And even that's like, well... That one didn't work out well enough either. Right. You know, so, you know, but it's kind of funny. I think as small business owners, we are naturally driven to always try to do better Mm. in whatever we're doing. In our life, in our business, sometimes one or the other, sometimes both. Mm -hmm. How can I more efficiently do laundry? How can I more efficiently Mm -hmm. make a meal plan? Mm. You know, we're always looking to be better at what we're doing. So, And we're not claiming innocence here. Oh, yeah. No, we're totally the same way. Um you know, and I think, you know, especially if you've kind of listened to the show from the beginning, you know, even our systems have evolved. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, you know, I've had my accounting firm for the last 10 years. You know, Jeff just came on full time Mm -hmm. with Ingram Digital Media in March. Mm -hmm. And so we're kind of reinventing, like, how are we going to do systems? We'll try a system for a while. Does that work? Okay, no, that didn't work long term. Let's try something else. You know, and that's, I think that's one of the things that has kind of helped, you know, has, has helped us kind of balance things a little bit better. I hate that word. I really do. Um, but it's not, cause it's not really balancing. It's making decisions. Right. Exactly. But I guess, so we don't have those extremes, mm-hmm. right. Where it's all work or all, and, and sometimes it does happen. Um, but I think we become much better at, especially you mm-hmm. become much better because mm-hmm. I haven't been around very much, um, of of being able to do that, mm. you know. So we kind of wanted to talk a little bit about kind of some of the techniques that we're using right now in order to make sure that we're getting all of the stuff done. Mm. Um, and you know the the name of this episode I think is a little bit misleading because we never get all the stuff done. <laughs> I think both of us are very good idea people. We can come up with more ideas in a day than we can get work done in a day. Mm-hmm. So we're always falling further behind technically. Right. And and the thing is, you know, and like Jeff, if, you know, if you've ever listened to World Builders Anvil, 
Jeff has enough novels in him and enough stories in him. You could write a novel a month for the rest of your life and never run out of story. I don't know. Only one way to find out, and I'll never be able to do it because I'm too distractible. I know. But so, you know, we both, you know, we have lots of new ideas. We have project ideas. We have ideas for HQ. We have podcast ideas. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's funny because, like, we sat down last night and said, all right, what are we going to do for September podcasts? Mm -hmm. And, you know, within, what, maybe five, ten minutes, we came up with five Mm -hmm. new episode ideas. Um, Well, like, I was creating the HQ content. Uh, for the first week of of September, and I'm sitting there and I'm I'm coming up with so much stuff that I want to share out related to the topic that I I just I had I got overwhelmed I had to pull back talk to Kristen about it because it was like it was I just couldn't see a path to getting it all done because it wasn't possible and now we probably have months of content yeah. for HQ which is pretty awesome, um you know but so that's the thing so you know the name of this episode is a little bit misleading mm-hmm. because you are never going to finish everything on your to-do list. Mm-hmm. It is just not possible. Because and if, if it is, you're, you're, you're probably never going to achieve what you want to because you're probably not being aggressive enough with what you need to do. You're probably playing it safe. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'll tell you, like, you know, we do we do daily accountability with the HQ mm-hmm. members. And that helps us a lot. <laughs> which helps us a lot. But it's like nobody ever sits there and goes, I don't, I don't really have anything to do today. Mm-hmm. You know, most of the time it's like, Three must-dos is not enough. I need yes. more than that. Well, for those of you who are with me in my must-do items, it's not a min- it's not a maximum to get done a day. It is the three things that you have to get done that day to keep moving your business forward. Right, but sometimes that's not enough. Like yesterday, for me, that was not enough. I understand. You know, mm-hmm. because you know, I had to have my client meeting. I had to record with you. I had to go to another meeting. And I had to work on curriculum stuff. But three see, was not enough. The three is not enough, but the point is... Three is achievable, even on bad days. Mm -hmm. Right. And so you always have some kind of momentum going forward into the next day. At least I got my must-do items Mm -hmm. done. Yeah. So, you know, one of the ways to accept, you know, because part of getting it all done is accepting that you're done for the day. Mm -hmm. Right? And um, having those three must-do items, and we do this Monday through Friday in HQ. Mm -hmm. Um, It's one of the member benefits that we do. We ask our members, you know, what are your top three things you mm-hmm. need to get done today? What are your three must-do items? And if you kind of say like, okay, if if I get nothing else done today, if I can get these three things done, mm-hmm. and you have to make sure they're very well defined, that there's, you know, that there's an end. Mm-hmm. Because the problem is like, if you say like, you know, I'm going to work on my novel today. Well, what does that mean? When do you know you're done? Yeah, because you know what? I'm not writing a whole novel in a day. I'm not editing a whole novel in a day. Mm -hmm. Um, But if you say, you know, I'm going to edit two chapters Mm -hmm. today. Okay, that's a goal Mm -hmm. with an end point. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I am going to write 1,500 words today. That is a goal with an end point. If you just say, I'm going to write, how do you know when you're done? Yeah. And that's one of the things that I think it's the specifics that make it work. And sometimes, and I let people get away with this sometimes in HQ, it's like, I'm going to write, write, write. Well, you know, if you have 10 million emails, you know, if you, if you write a lot, that's good. Mm -hmm. But you know, even if you can't put a workout to it, is it three time blocks? Mm -hmm. You know, if you have eight or 10 time blocks, you're working a day. Those are 50 minute time blocks. How many of those are writing? Mm -hmm. you could even do it to that level right so it's like i'm gonna spend two time blocks writing today that's fine but you have to make sure that when you set your tasks that there is an end Mm -hmm. there's a defined end where you know you're done so that's tip number one because sundays they're not working and you're working to eight o'clock to get three things done Mm -hmm. but you're 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 getting closer as the day goes on helps keep you motivated to at least get those three things done so tomorrow you don't start off going i didn't get nothing done yesterday Mm mm-hmm how painful is it when you tell yourself, I've got nothing done yesterday? Or even like, you know, you're at the end of the day and you're exhausted mm-hmm. and you're like, I didn't get anything done today. Mm-hmm. Well, that's because there wasn't anything you got to check off your list. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's funny because I see the days, the days in HQ where we check in with the members 
and somebody says, I got them all done today. Mm -hmm. And you can just like, you can just tell from like the way they're posting mm -hmm. that they are so excited yeah. that they got it all done that day. Because it wasn't the day, it was the day you would have said, I can't get it done. Mm -hmm. You know, part of it is when you make undefinable things, you know, like I'm going to write a novel, I'm going to... I'm going to create my on my website today. Right. And and typically I see Good that luck. as I'm going to work on. Yeah. I'm going to work on this. But what do you need to get done in those? Right. Okay. So tell me the piece that you're going to get done today. Um because that's the important part, right? It's the sales page. It's mm -hmm. this, it's that. I'm going to I'm going to reach out to 15 leads today. Mm -hmm. That's something that's definable. Um and that's what's gonna that's what's gonna help you feel more accomplished, mm. and it's gonna make you feel like you're getting it all yeah. done. Okay, so that's that's the first tip. Um, I think the second tip, the thing that has worked really well for us, um, is you have to make sure you get in some physical activity. Mm. And and this is the brilliant thing that people don't take advantage of because one, you you get in a groove and you're like, I can't stop now or I'll lose where I'm at what you don't realize is slowly you're getting less and less done over that time. So that's the people who end up one or two o'clock in the afternoon crashing mm -hmm. because they haven't got up, they haven't moved, they haven't got the blood flowing, mm -hmm. you know? And so one, if you're at home, you know, if you work from home, this is the best thing for you because you know what? You can go walk around a vacuum for 15 minutes. So you have a timer, you know, your, your 50 minute, you know, 50 minute thing that goes off. You get up, you shake it off, you grab that little handheld vacuum or that dust thing and you go at it for another 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. But it gets the blood flowing. It distracts you from what you're thinking of, which allows you to be more creative and get a little bit more accomplished in your next 50 minute block. And I'm definitely not perfect at this. Some days I forget to open up my clock and some days I forget to press start. And we, you really need to train yourself to do that. If you work at home, you can get a lot of that work stuff done. Because think if you're, you know, if you have eight or ten time blocks you're working a day, that's ten minutes. And I hate doing housework, but I can do something for ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's and it's funny because you're actually you're taking two of my tips and you're mashing them together. Mm -hmm. um, so to one super tip, to, to one super tip. So you know, one thing that Jeff's been doing a lot is he has been doing a 50 minute block. Mm -hmm. It's it kind of sounds like you said 15, so I wanted to clarify that. A 50 minute block and then he'll do 10 minutes. Sometimes he empties the dishwasher, sometimes mm -hmm. he does laundry, sometimes, you know, what he, needs to be done in the house. He vacuums the kitchen. You know, it's amazing how much you can get done in 10 minutes around mm -hmm. your house. In 10 minutes I can clean a bathroom. Mhm. Mm um in 10 minutes, you can flip over laundry. Mm -hmm. In 10 minutes, you can empty a dishwasher. And, and, and don't get me wrong. I don't get something done all, every block. But, you know, if like half of those blocks, if I'm getting 40 minutes of housework done a day, how much less do I have to do it that evening? Mm -hmm. You know, you know, how much less do I have to do a big cleaning thing over the weekend because my house is just a wreck now? Especially if I'm working from home. If I'm taking my breaks and I need physical movement, I can do that with housework. Mm -hmm. And it's, I mean, which I hate. I know. It's amazing. I came home yesterday and I was only gone for a couple hours, mm -hmm. right? I, I left for a meeting and I came home and I think I was gone for maybe two and a half hours, three hours, maybe. I, I don't know. The dishes were all done. The kitchen was cleaned up. The laundry was going. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what? Like, I came home and, and you had gotten a ton of work done. Mm hmm. You know, so it's, you know, we, we kind of, we look at these little, you know, a lot of people, they're like, what can you possibly get done in 10 minutes? You would be freaking amazed what yes. you can do in 10 minutes. Especially we have like a, a real nice vacuum cleaner. So it's not like one of those big, heavy vacuum cleaners, but you can pick that sucker up. You can vacuum out a room pretty good in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like getting in the corners and stuff in 10 minutes. You know, you can do a whole overview of the staircase. You can knock out a bunch of stuff like that in just those 10 minutes. But I'm moving around. I'm distracting my brain because the problem is when you get over-focused on one thing that you're working on for too long, it breaks up your rhythm, mm -hmm. you know. And, and the thing is, this is one of the things that cost us later on, you know, because it's like – you think you're you're focusing so you're getting more done, but you're just working more hours and achieving a little bit less every hour. 
Yeah. You know, even if you can get at the desk for eight or 10 hours without taking a break or, and then you go get your lunch, maybe eat it at your desk while you're working, you're getting less done. I will get done more in two hours work wise than people who sit at their desk all day for 10 hours. Mm-hmm. I guarantee it. Yep. And I guarantee you could get, you could get more done than you do right now by going to Palmadoro. And if you're at a store, you're at a physical location, freaking clean up around there is your freaking office too, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe you need a little bit less of a maid service to come in and clean it. Or you have less time when you close shop at the end of the day where you're cleaning. Mm-hmm. You know, but get up for those 10 minutes. Get your people to do the same thing. Yeah. You know, and it's a little bit different if you're working the floor of a store, but you're up and moving around a bit more in those times. So you're really probably more doing the opposite where you're getting 10 minutes of work done, Mm. you know, and, you know, 50 minutes of actual like moving around done. Yeah. I think it's actually the opposite. Like if you're in retail Mm -hmm. where, you know, but I think a lot of times what happens is like, you know, somebody will be like, okay. A customer called and I know a customer is going to be here in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying, what can I get done in those 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. You know, they'll kind of like waste that time because there's no way I could possibly get anything meaningful. I do think if that's your workflow, it's very important to have a task list of even smaller things to achieve. So you can almost have a checklist where you can knock stuff off. And if it takes you, let's say 40 minutes to do a blog post, you know, can I break that down into 10 minute chunks? Can I do the image, you know, in that's one, right. in one 10 minute chunk? Can I write the headline and the intro? Mm-hmm. Because that's the thing when I'm writing posts, like is, is even when I do the show notes mm-hmm. for the show, you know, I usually do the headline and the intro paragraph mm-hmm. and the intro paragraph becomes my SEO stuff. Yeah. That takes me about 10 minutes mm. and then I'll do the graphic and the graphic will take me five to 10 minutes you know, and I can kind of break it down into chunks that are about 10 minutes each. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that there's, it, it just amazes me. Like when I see how much Jeff gets done, not only work wise, but around the house as well, when he really gets into that groove. And mm-hmm. I can tell like if his Pomodoro is not going, I can tell, mm-hmm. you know, because you're, you're not getting up you kind of like you're sitting at the computer and I'll look at you like an hour later and you're still looking at the same thing, Mm -hmm. especially in the afternoon, like your brain, you know, Mm -hmm. really slows down if you're not taking the Mm -hmm. breaks. So, you know, I think, you know, tip number two is to, you know, use those 50 minute blocks with the 10 minute break and use and really use that 10 minute Mm -hmm. break to get things done around the house that you're having issues getting done. Mm -hmm. Or around the office. Mm -hmm. And remember if it's retail, it's probably flipped around. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you have, you know, have those really small tasks if you're retail. So if you get that 10 minutes where the store is empty, especially if you're the only one there, you can you can knock something out. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing. And I would really, you know, it's funny because I used to say like, hey, you could use your 10 minutes to check your social, you know, or you can use the 10 minutes um, to check your email. And that's wrong advice. Yeah. You know what? I, I, I think that's bad advice. Mm-hmm. Get up, get moving, especially if you work from home, get some stuff done around mm-hmm. the house. It is amazing what you can do in 10 minutes. And if you're a kind of person who can't listen to music when you work, that's when you put on that 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 song that gets your blood moving. Mm-hmm. You know, you can sing, go around, act like an idiot, get some cleaning done, and then, you know, 10 minutes later. But, you know, the discipline we get isn't to overstructure our life. It's not to take the creativity out of things. It's to give us the ability to be creative. Mm-hmm. Because that next 50 minute block, you can sit down, you can sit there and and there's a, there's at least one thing out of the way. Mm-hmm. Right. There's one less thing. You don't get up and see the cat hair all over. Uh, you know, you just see the new cat vomits, but that, that <laughs> that's just part of life. Right. Exactly. And, you know, you don't see the laundry piling up. You don't see the mm-hmm. dishes piling up. I mean, it's funny because like one of my stress points is like when is when the main part of our counter gets like completely full of dishes, mm-hmm. you know, and it's like I don't have prep space anymore. That's like one of the things that just like drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. And I found that like, as we're in the system, as we've gotten to this rhythm, like there are fewer dishes, Mm -hmm. you know, we have this little bucket, everything fits in the bucket, you know, and it's just like, it's awesome. You know, and if you're the spouse member who doesn't help the other people out around the house, if you're not helping someone out, if, if they work out of the house, you have to ask yourself why, you know, you know, because it's causing you stress too. You know, even if it's something they take care of, 
Uh, if they get stressed out because they're not getting all their stuff done, trust me, you're going to be stressed out too because even if they're not trying to be a jerk to you, you feel the stress of the people around you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's incumbent for us to help take care of the people around us. And, you know, I find it really disturbing when, you know, people do nothing. And I'm not saying, you know, you you, you bust your butt and, and you work eight or 10 hours. Yeah, you deserve a time to relax. And trust me, downtime is a big, big part of my thing. I try and have at least one hour a night where I, I don't do anything work or, or, or house related. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll play a, a week of Madden. I will play a little Skyrim or, or something else or I'll, you know, and that's not reading, reading separate, you know, from that stuff, but you know, where I could just veg out and, mm -hmm. and do nothing, but you know, that's an hour a day. You but, know? And, and, and if I get just an hour a day of that, then the next day I don't want two or three hours of it. Well, and I think you make a really good point that, you know, if you've worked eight to 10 hours a day, yeah, you want that one hour to veg, mm -hmm. but I bet your spouse does too. Yeah. You know, and it's like, how often, you know, do we think, well, I work so hard, you know, I shouldn't have to do this stuff. My spouse should do it all. Mm -hmm. But I bet you your, your spouse is probably working just as hard as you mm -hmm. are. So I think it's really important that we understand that, you know, this has to be a partnership. Mm -hmm. You know, I think one thing that we are really good about is like when we're making dinner, you know, typically, you know, I do most of the heavy lifting making dinner. But like... Well, it depends what you mean by heavy lifting. Well, that's true. But I'm doing most of the cooking. Yes. And, but you're getting me things I need. You're emptying the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times you'll go do litter boxes. And we're chatting too. You know, we're, we're maybe doing a little bit of light planning for the business and stuff at the same mm -hmm. time. All right. We might be like talking out like, what are we going to talk about when we record mm -hmm. tomorrow? Or like last night we were talking about the live HQ call. Mm -hmm. You know, what do we want to talk about? Or sometimes about? it's like, oh, we have this thing, you know, with the family this weekend or something, mm -hmm. you know, we can knock out some of that stuff, you know, and, 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 and get some stuff done. And then we can both sit down for an hour. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, I think that, um, I think it's a really good way to, um, you know, use those little moments, right? And if, you know, if your spouse is doing work around the house, if you can also, mm -hmm. you know, get some stuff off their plate, you know, that's a wonderful I mean, you know, even thing if to it's do. A, the five, trust me, it's so much amazing how much cleaner a house has been in, in general, you know, with, with just, you know, a couple times a day, just either vacuuming or, or clean up the counters, pick stuff up. Like, you know, because, you know, one of the things my mom always told me and I resisted against because I didn't feel like I had the time because I never tried it. N not, not sustained wise. So, you know, it's like, but really if you're getting a little bit done here and there, you never have the time where you have to go in and scrub down the freaking room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have like cleaning days in our no. house. You know, we clean little bits. Because we always found we, we, we would plan that way. We would never want to even get to those days and it just got worse. Well, and I find too, like, you know, if I try to clean for more than like an hour and a half, I just get burnt out. Yeah. But if I do little 10 minute chunks, I mean, mm -hmm. it's funny, like if you do... Like Jeff was saying, let's say that you use five of your 10 minute breaks to mm -hmm. clean up around the house. You did 50 minutes of cleaning that day. Mm -hmm. and that's typically more than I want to do a day in a chunk. Act for Like after 10 minutes, I'm ready to stop anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So I think, I think for us, you know, that has worked out really well. Mm -hmm. um, now, the, it's funny because the original point that I was trying to get to um, was when we talk about movement. Mm -hmm. So one thing that Jeff and I have started to do is we go for a short walk mm -hmm. after every single meal. Yeah. Um, so we do it before we start our work day, mm -hmm. after we eat breakfast. So typically we will eat breakfast, take a shower, and then go for yeah. a walk. We're not like running, so there's, you know, but we basically, we go for a 20-minute walk. Yes, we, we've given up a 60-minute block mm -hmm. to walk three times a day. Yep. Short little walks. You know, I don't do the crazy arm thing. I don't need to, but you know, that might be better, but it was better than what I was doing. Right. Mm -hmm. But so we do. Um, and I found that when we do the three 20 minute walks, um, it's kind of nice because the way our neighborhood is set up, if you do a loop around our neighborhood, um, that's about 10 minutes. So we'll yep. do that twice. Um, but you know, I found like I'm getting 
you know, 10 to 12,000 steps a day Mm -hmm. by adding in those three walks. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel better. I have more energy. You know, if you're, if you kind of have that burnout in the afternoon, Mm -hmm. eat some lunch and go for, you know, a 15 to 20 minute walk, Mm -hmm. you're going to feel a lot better starting your afternoon. We even did a bonus one before our HQ call because I was starting to feel like I was losing it. Mm Mm-hmm. And I, I don't want to start some other activity, so we just took a couple extra loops that day. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, I mean, it's it's something that you can do, you know, and you can do whatever kind of exercise mm-hmm. you want. Um, but I'd really recommend doing a couple short bursts, mm-hmm. you know, whatever you can do, whether it's walking, if you want to do yoga, if you want to meditate, whatever you want to do to step away from work. Yeah. And, and do something that recharges you. And there are techniques and the HQ, there's a month about, you know, like, like doing breath scales and doing things, to, you know, that are really super effective. And don't, breath scales would have completely welcomed me up. But the problem is that's like too much. Mm-hmm. So then it's like, I get done with the call and I'm like, I'm like bouncing up the walls, it's like drinking a freaking Red Bull, mm-hmm. you know? So, you know, but you know, it gets a little bit more exercise in though. And, and which is weird that, you know, that would have been even a choice mm-hmm. Where before. Like, well, I'll just play a video game until then. Right. But that's, I think that's the thing that's pretty cool though. Is like you figure we're getting 60 minutes of exercise a day, mm-hmm. but it doesn't feel like it. No. And for the two of us, we walk together. So we're talking about podcast mm-hmm. episodes. We're talking about HQ content. You know, we're talking about growing the business and new product ideas. So it's funny because we actually use that as kind of like planning time, mm-hmm. you know, throughout the day. Or life or business. Mm-hmm. With an occasional getting yelled at by the our outdoor hunting cat who finds our patrolling techniques very wrong. Yes. Yes. But it's 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 funny though, because like, you know, I think a lot of you would say, Well, I can't I can't do that. I can't do an hour a day mm-hmm. because I need that time in my business. Mm-hmm. Well, how often do you say I can't get any planning done or I can't do any kind of big picture thinking? Or how 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 many hours a day do you spend burned out? Maybe not every day, but you know, maybe for like two, three, four weeks, you kill it. You know, like ten hours a day. You're sitting at that desk. You're you're wherever you need to be for work. You're getting it all done, and then all of a sudden, you have that week where maybe it's two hours a day. Mm-hmm. Or maybe you're like, you know, I'm really burnt out. I'm not doing anything today. Oh, and I'm probably not going to do anything tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And you know, and you end up I like need this time, right? And you end up losing a week to recovery mm-hmm. because you know you hustled too hard. Mm-hmm. And you know, I think the your brain needs a break. Mm-hmm. N- not only on a bigger picture scale by doing those downtime activities you love, but during the day, just that quick break, something that doesn't shift your brain's thought process because that's going to cost you time too. So, but when you do something physical, it's not, you, your brain can just become free and relaxed for a few minutes. It's not using up the fuel that you need to get through a 10 or 12 hour day. And it's, I mean, it's funny because we've come up with, you know, doing our walks, we've come up with some really good ideas. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the, during one of our walks, we came up with um, October's week one HQ mm-hmm. content, kind of the the master idea for that which I thought came out phenomenal. Mm. Um, you know, the the first week in for HQ. Hmm? For September. Oh, I'm sorry, for September. That's right. Um, I'm off by a month. Um, the, the first week of HQ content, we're talking about, like, how do you identify whether you should spend time following up with an inquiry? Mm. Um, you know, when does an inquiry become a lead? Mm-hmm. And, you know, we're talking about, because to help you save time, right? Because mm-hmm. in the sales process, that can be a huge amount of time. We thought, but we came up with that Mm -hmm. on a 20 minute walk. Mm -hmm. Um, We came up with a product idea for Garduel Mm -hmm. in a 20 minute walk. And you'll find typically most of your aha moments will come in the morning when you're not trying to. Mm -hmm. Uh, In the shower. In the shower. When you're walking. But also too, it's it's, it's when you you pull back a little bit sometimes, you get your best ideas. So if you don't give yourself time, you're not going to have those ideas. Mm -hmm. You know, the harder you sit there and try and, and figure it out, S- sometimes usually that costs you. Mm-hmm. And so that's the thing. It's, you know, instead of us like sitting down and having, you know, a 30 minute planning meeting at the kitchen table mm-hmm. or at our desk, we're having, we're doing these walks. Mm-hmm. And you know what? You can have a little notebook with you if, if mm-hmm. you need to write it down if you're by yourself. 
uh, you can talk into like a recording thing on your phone. Mm -hmm. Um, You don't need to do it sitting down at a desk. Mm -hmm. Walk around. Use that time, you know, to let your brain relax from the activity it was doing. You don't want to make it too thoughtful or else you have to transition back into the work again, you know, which kind of leads me to the next point, which is, you know, trying to do similar types of work on a day if, if it works out for your business, you know. If you need to get a lot of writing done for emails or for sales copy or for this brochure or that, you know, or for blog posts, try and do similar types of activity on the same day. So when you switch from activity to activity in those different blocks, you can get more writing done if you're writing. But if you go from writing to this, you know, to and you keep switching around what you're doing all the time. I'm going to spend an hour writing. I'm going to spend an hour pod recording. I'm going to spend an hour doing this, an hour doing that. You won't be as good at any of those activities throughout the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, no, I, Back I, your time. yeah. And we've actually found that doing like, we've been doing theme days. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know about you, but I think they work out really well. Yeah. Yep. You know, it's like today we are recording podcast today i'm recording some with krista now i'll be recording some with my other co-host later but you know and you'll be editing some stuff in between i'll be editing some stuff in between but it's all around the process of not writing the post out not doing the social media for it but the actual technical side of of the podcast Mm -hmm. and then usually um tuesdays Tuesdays are when we work on course stuff. Mm -hmm. So that is typically new HQ content, Mm -hmm. any other courses we're working on. um, You know, that's what we do on, Mm -hmm. on Tuesdays. Um, Monday is typically communication day. Mm -hmm. So that's newsletters, that's social media. That's when all that stuff is happening. Um, Wednesday for you is world building, Mm -hmm. world building Wednesday, world building Wednesday. And for me, it's other curriculum stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm usually working on stuff for school. Um, and then Friday is like a catch up day, you know, so it's, you know, are there things, maybe we didn't get the show notes done for this week's episode. Mm-hmm. That'll be on Friday. You know, maybe there's something else that we want to get done for a course. That'll be Friday. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we're talking about for, um, October doing a new email mm-hmm. sign up, you know, so that's something that we can work on mm-hmm. on Fridays. You know, it's just kind of that day where like, and it's really nice to have like 20% of your week be for either things that you didn't get done earlier in the mm-hmm. week or, you know, kind of some time to work on other projects. Mm-hmm. Um, I think a lot of times, especially for online businesses, we're not giving ourselves that mm-hmm. time. Yeah. So I think that, you know, that has worked out. I'm much less stressed out mm-hmm. because we're not going, oh my God, where are we going to fit in the podcast? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. We've given ourselves a whole day to do podcasting so we can brainstorm what we're going to talk mm-hmm. about. We can record. Yep. You can get the editing done. Um, I don't know. Like, I think it just... It for, works better. I feel much less stressed out, even though I know I have a ton of stuff to do. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. You're, you're getting your wins. Mm-hmm. You know, it's as long as you can keep your momentum, the easier it becomes. And it's not perfect. It's not this great upward line of happiness. You know, there's a rhythm to things like in everything. Mm-hmm. But in general... I've not burned out since I've started working, start starting to move towards this because I, I mean I'm still evolving it, right? You know, this is the thing to realize too is you're not going to start off at the correct thing, mm-hmm. you know. So you know, just try and get better. You know, right. it's like I, I I don't do the Pomodoro every day, and and some days I feel like I had a good day without it, and other days I, I start to realize I wait I really need to be doing my Pomodoro. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's building those habits. So so focus on building those habits to make yourself more efficient. And you and as long as you're getting stuff done, you can get to a point and say, hey, you know what? I don't have any drop-dead deadlines tomorrow. It's after dinner. It's time for the family. It's time to relax. Mm-hmm. It's time to move on. Yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, and I'll tell you, like, a lot of times, you know, Jeff has World Building Wednesday. You know, I might need to see a client that day. Mm-hmm. You know, and so I don't get as much curriculum stuff done. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, tomorrow's Friday. I have client meetings. Mm-hmm. Or I'm helping someone out with their website, so I don't get as much world building done, or mm-hmm. as much, or some of my catch up on Friday is doing client work. Or- right, but that's but that's the thing that's kind of nice is like the stuff that has to get done, right? Which is the the course content and the podcast every week have mm-hmm. to get done. Yeah, 
and that stuff gets done, Mm -hmm. you know, and we're actually, you know, we're a little bit ahead of the game with this podcast. You're way ahead with your Mm -hmm. other podcast because your co-host is going on vacation. Um, I'm on vacation, so I need to be really far ahead with that one. You know, but so, but that's the thing. It's like, so we're kind of getting into this rhythm now where we're not, you know, when we record on Thursday, it's not necessarily next Monday's podcast. Mm -hmm. You know, we're trying to get, you know, ahead of the game, especially because we know the baby's coming you know, we'll probably lose some time when the baby's born. Exactly. So we're trying to get ahead of the game. And it's amazing how much better you feel when you get ahead of the game, mm-hmm. especially content wise. Yep. And, and then it's just, you know, you, you know, it's content wise, you get a month ahead. And then it's, as long as I get that one done a week, I'm a month ahead still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So, and that's why, like, we decided. You know, because you might seem like, wow, doing an entire day of podcasting, Mm -hmm. you know, well, you've got to understand we do produce two podcasts out of Mm -hmm. the business. Um, You know, but for us, it's like we've recorded two episodes today, Mm -hmm. you know, not just one. And then Jeff will have the afternoon to edit Mm -hmm. the stuff that's going to go out on Monday, you know, and then record tonight. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's kind of we're getting into this groove you know, and, and the thing is, those times change and, and the batches change. So if we get really far ahead, you know, if I do an interview on someone else's show, I'm going to try and do it on the same day I'm doing my stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, if you know, but it'll just be a way to get similar type of work together. And then if later on I don't need that much time, you know, maybe it becomes a morning of a day mm-hmm. or you can change stuff around. You have to be willing to change around your times too, based on the type of work you need to get done. If you have a lot more work that you need to do in a certain area, you, you need to work there. It's like soon right. I'll be doing another podcast, a limited run one, you know, for my book launch. And then I'll be doing some other audio and video for, you know, more stuff for my book launches. So, you know, you have to manage your time, but batch it because if, if you record, 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 you just get in a rhythm and you can knock stuff out. Mm hmm. Yeah, and that's the thing I find too is like when we when we batch record, mm-hmm. we get a lot more done. It's like the reason I can write a book when I get into NaNoWriMo is I get into a rhythm for writing and I punch out words. Mm-hmm. You know, so I mean, working in batch works. Yep. And the thing is too is like I I I think it's good that you bring up like NaNoWriMo and I was thinking like tax season. Mm-hmm. You know, like during tax season, we won't do an entire day of podcasting. At least no. I won't. No. You know. But I might do like an episode a week because I know that we're ahead of the game mm-hmm. and then turn to tax season. Mm-hmm. You know, during NaNoWriMo, you know, you're probably going to cut back on recording, mm-hmm. you know, so you have more time to write. Yep. So when, you know, being able to batch things out like this and get ahead of the game allows you to switch gears when you need to. Mm-hmm. You know, we've had weeks where I said, you know, like last week I was like, babe, we can record one episode because I really have this to. This is all I have. You know, I've got to get some stuff mm-hmm. done. And, but we had the flexibility to Mm -hmm. do that, you know? So if you, you know, kind of start thinking, you know, look at, if you don't, if you're not doing the must do tasks every day, start, you know, start there, um, work some more movement into your day, Mm -hmm. you know, and it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be housework, but get up from your desk once an hour, Yes, you know, um, get your blood moving, get your blood moving. You know, at least, you know, if you can't do three 20 minute walks a day, you know, talk to your doctor, see if you can do a, a one after lunch, because mm-hmm. most people have the most trouble after in the lunch, afternoon. Yeah. Right. So, you know, if you could do that, hey, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. You know, little, You're not gonna be little perfect. things. You, and you might not even be able to do it the same of us ever. And you might be able to do it better, you know, or more. I mean, the thing is, work with your schedule and just increment in changes to become more efficient over time. Because trust me, as you feel more efficient and you start seeing yourself getting done more, that will help give you the energy and the motivation to keep working. Yep, absolutely. So, um, you know, we love if you are, you know, if you're just crushing it during the day, um, you know, and if you're doing it in a way that, you know, you feel like your life you know, and your business are happening and Mm -hmm. you're getting some downtime, you know, we'd love to know what Mm -hmm. tips you have. Go to smallbizlife.com. I'm sorry. Go to facebook.com slash group slash smallbizlife. Join the community, get involved in the discussion. And uh, if you haven't downloaded our focus planner, the focus planner is actually what we use to do our three must do items. Um, you can get the focus planner at smallbizlife.com slash focus.
Okay. And go check that out. And you can download that every day and do your must do plan. So thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you next time. Woohoo. This was Small Business Life.